what is going on guys we are back man i have some explaining to do because that last video was a was a big one i didn't say much but I said a lot but didn't give you too much detail so the point of this video here i'm gonna like just give you look how humid it is here right now all right this hoodie's sick so i want to wear it so i'm gonna be sweating fair warning this isn't a vlog, so I'm gonna try not to do too much vloggy kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to be more direct to the point here, but um, it's hot as shit, <laughs> okay? And um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna cover ten the ten goals that I set in the last one. We're gonna go one by one. It was your boy's birthday. Turn thirty, man. Started this channel when I was nineteen, uh, and yeah, just turned thirty. So we're about to do that again because that's so much fun, pretty much. First goal. That I want to talk to y'all about is I'm gonna film and upload over the next 10 years. One, I mean, take my back. Let me get comfortable for. I'm sorry. Hold on one second. Okay. I'm like rusty as hell, to be honest with y'all. Like really, really rusty. Uh, I've been like just getting in my head about filming this video for like a week now, and um, I'm just gonna go for it. I have no time. Come here, girl. See what's up to the camera real quick. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay. I think Nala's been in the, in the first, oh, sorry, whoa, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, this is not direct to the point. I'm gonna film and upload a thousand YouTube videos, all right? Now, here's what you need to know about that. This is so crooked, I'm sorry, guys, hold on. Okay. New camera, new, new. Goal number one, film and upload a thousand YouTube videos. And that does not include shorts. I was getting that uh, question a lot, because I've been posting like one short a day, trying to you know, just be active with it, because I think, uh, you know, short form content's awesome, and so you gotta adapt, man. Gotta grow with the grow with the platform. You know what I'm saying? So those will not count towards the 1,000 videos. I have no set schedule, so I just want to accomplish the thousand videos by the end of the 10 years. I could go ham for a bit, okay? That also means I could go, you know, kind of silent for a bit, maybe a week, maybe a month, maybe a year. And then I could hit it maybe hard with some dailies. I, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna, how it's gonna go. But all I know is I'm gonna be sure I'm not forcing anything. And there's with these goals, there's gonna be some time frames where it's gonna be like, like pretty freaking crazy. And my goal is to like really more than anything, document and like like treat this channel as a almost like, like just my diary, man. Um, and I'm just gonna like explain everything that I'm kind of going through. I don't know how to do a lot of this shit. I'm with stuff. Like, you know, there's a lot of big goals here and uh, it's going to require me to learn a lot, to be a sponge and just like to capture as much as I can. And just like, I'm going to take y'all along for the ride, man, and give you everything I get. So the knowledge I get and stuff. So, um, or knowledge or, you know, say the, the good with the bad too. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to kill it. So that's really why. Uh, also like, Guys, in 10 years, my parent, I mean, my mom's, my mom looks like she's like 50, she's 50. She looks amazing. My mom's like 63 or 64 uh, right now. So like, she'll be 74 years old. Right? And it's, uh, I, I want to, I want to capture a lot of that. So I was so like, when I was going to backtrack and get all this like old footage, I was really, really picky with the clips. And um, like, it was so, it was amazing, like probably, I don't know. It was uh, it's just so cool to be able to relive every like so much of my life, and so that's happening. Um, oh, I'm happier in general. <laughs> that's what it says. Okay, I'm happier in general <laughs> um, when I'm filming, and I you know years ago I thought I'd be more just really focused on the business part, kind of being social, and then you know if business was me is needing me then i would go and you know and do it but what i've learned is i i'm able to remove myself from getting too deep into the weeds easier when i have this going on like literally like a more positive fun. i'm just like excited throughout my whole day when i'm doing this and i'm still doing everything else it's just like i have less time for the bullshit to be honest it's like without that i just get i've realized like this past summer starting to be honest in 2022 how much i need to do what I like first began doing this for right just 
And uh, yeah, so I kind of learned that about myself. But it says 63 degrees, right? Okay, that's definitely hoodie weather. But what they don't say is that it feels like a freaking swamp here right now. Oh, this is such a, this is not how I envisioned this uh, sit down going. I thought I'd have like, these cool lights and stuff in a professional set. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. What? Goal number two, launch a, launch a reputable fashion brand. I've been working on this fashion brand, the name is Odilia, for over five years. I bought the domain um, over five years ago and it cost a decent amount of money, but I wanted to get Odilia.com because it was, uh, it's, it's my mom's middle name, Odilia, right? Super pretty and I wanted to dedicate the brand to my mom um, because at the time she was going through breast cancer. And so we were taking her treatments and stuff. Uh, and, we, and you know, there's a clip of her like ringing the bell uh, in the video that we posted last week. And um, yeah, that just like I, I want each and every piece to just like have a deeper story behind it. Uh, not that like yeah, clothes are clothes, but like there's so many cool pieces we've already made that are like tied to you know where she's from, how her dad uh, raised her with like you know growing up on the farm and her, her love of horses and like her favorite flowers and like her handwriting is like in like so many. Th it's, it's, it's really like subtle, but um, it makes it really exciting for me and for her to kind of you know get to work on that together. And uh, yeah, so I purchased some pieces in my life because I've been curious of like that kind of really change your perspective on clothes, right? And when you like kind of have like a really good one thing, like a the YSL you know, suede boot or like a freaking like an Amiri like uh, denim and, and like stretches and it feels so good and the zipper, you're like, holy shit, this is like, this is like next, this is good, I, okay, I get it, right? But I want to be able to bring that level for, I don't even want to, it's not really pricing. Just, I, I want to be creatively free to do whatever the hell I want. Because that's be real. As much as I love and adore my Outfleet brand, like there's some stuff I can't really, you know, I want to be able to literally do whatever the, the hell we want to experiment with, with like low, low quantities, try it out. It's going to be more expensive. It's damn, we're, I, I want to like have no manufacturing limits because I we have the capability and people and, like factories to do these things and sources, but it's like, I can't do that without these. I want to keep it in a, in a really good price point. Right. And so this is going to be all the chains are off and I'm just going to fucking go. And, uh, yeah, we've got almost three collections. Full Self, you understand so well. Hey, hey maybe we're crazy and passionate. Done. So it's launching later this year, fall, winter of t like this year before 2024. Um, so we're just, yeah, more coming soon, but we're excited about it. Being tired? Goal number three. This is fucking big. Ready? Goal number three is the next evolution of Summer Shredding. Summer Shredding began as a YouTube series, right? Where I did my contest for it, shared my diet, all that. And then it evolved into, we opened up an online competition, the transformation uh, competition, where essentially you followed throughout the prep. You took your before photos with me at the same time. We dieted for X amount of time together free entry, right? And then I think we had like, what was it? 35, 40,000 people enter um, the first year. And out of that, we had like almost, almost like 35, 40% of those people submit at the end, which was my goal. That was like, okay, but that, I just want people to follow through with what they say they're gonna do. And we had like, I think we picked like 10 or 15, could have been 20 winners at like two, like, a few thousand dollars a winner uh based off of the transformation that they you know not just the weight but like it was fueled to my fire that evolved into a physical show a bodybuilding show with that transformation class in mind because like i my roots are literally online coaching um and i, I, don't, I don't know like there's been a lot of 
to be real open with y'all, like HBO, Netflix, there's been like a, a lot of that coming at everything, like the last few year and a half, two years now, um, especially after like when Alpha Land opened uh, and they saw the summer starting last summer, but like, and th that's like the hook, the transformation, like how, the, it's like, what do you mean how the fuck I think about it? It's like, <laughs> what, how did, how's that not, the, how's that not a thing before? Like, I don't know, it's, um, it's, it's not even like trying to be like inclusive, it's just like, what do you mean? It, it's everybody needs to just like work on their own journey, you know? But um, anyway, like, it, it just it really does kind of blow my mind. But, um, that is gonna be a part of that class, the transformation class for men and women. Uh, it's over a, I know we had a two year time frame, but I think we might be bumping into a three year time frame. So you make a YouTube video or a, a video, you take your before photos and you tell your story within that like two, uh, two and a half minute time frame. We play it at the show, all the lights are off, we're watching the video. Then at the end of the video, you walk out the new you and just the crowd goes wild. And like, it's just, um, it's there's some of those, like those, I, I'm cry, I cried like a fucking baby, front row, right? Just, um, and it's, it's, it's one of my favorite things about this entire uh, YouTube, uh, my career path, what I do, I guess, is literally like being able to, those show days, the summer shredding days, like the sh where we get to go and just, and like watch and like, I'm backstage fucking like, let's fucking go real fucking sick. Like it's, uh, that's, it's just, it's another, there's nothing like it. And what's so cool, even like after the show day, we always do an event. We go, uh, we'll go to like Alphaland or we'll do it, you know, we used to go to the Alphaland gym and just have like this stupid, awesome, like, party you know, it's like donuts we got water slides like a few years ago we had um just open gym just some music the vibes you got telecast playing and it's just like it, it, everyone's just the community is unfucking matched and you, you can't replicate it and um leads me to the next evolution which is goal number three okay summer shredding is now going to become a league, a bodybuilding league, a federation, an organism, whatever you want to call it, right? But we're going to call it the SSC. Now we have six motherfucking shows this year and we start in Tampa, global, global shows. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on the screen right now. We're gonna go check it out. Okay. We start in April uh, by going to Tampa, Houston twice, Toronto, Canada, we're coming to you, August, okay? So excited for that. And then we're going to Birmingham in the UK. And I'm just like, Summer Shredding is going to do a bodybuilding show in the UK? And yeah, we are. And why? Because I love the UK. <laughs> and like, there's so much, there's been so much support um, there over the years. And you're just like, oh, yes, let's do it. So we're doing it. Everything's booked. It's, ha it's happening. I haven't had a chance to talk about it or like really promote it because I've been waiting to like do this. But um, now that it's the league, the SSC, the Summer Shredding community, right? We have the Summer Shredding show. So it'd be like Summer Shredding Tampa, Florida. Summer shredding uh, Birmingham, UK. Summer shredding uh, Houston, Texas. Summer shredding next year, Chicago, Vancouver. We're walking. Uh, I want to go to Australia, Dublin. We're out. Like, it's going to be nuts. It'll be between five to ten shows. I think five to seven to eight, possibly eight shows per year. I want to keep like around, but all of those are qualifiers. Okay, so those are, there's there's all the divisions. You have men's physique, uh, men's bodybuilding. We are doing bodybuilding. Yeah. It's a smaller uh, thing with entries. We're still going to do it. We have our classic physique is fucking huge now uh, in, the, in the summer shredding thing. It's insane. Every, this is all insanely competitive. I would get smoked if I competed at the summer, at summer shredding, um, to be honest with you. But the physique, bodybuilding, 
classic. We've got the men's transformation. You have women's figure, women's wellness, it's a newer one, uh, women's bikini, and we have women's transformation. So eight total classes. We now are also doing masters uh, as well. And so therefore there's eight like overall winners at each show. We're gonna pay for you to come to the finale. That finale, October 22nd this year, that is the Summer Shredding Championship. Every single year, we're gonna have one championship, like one, one show, the best of the best. You have to qualify at all these, at all the, these other shows. You have to place in the top three. If your class has over, uh, what was it? If your class has over seven people, right? So anywhere from seven to 20 in your class, you have to place top three to get, to get invited to the finale, right? So and if it has less than seven, then we're picking two. The top two are going to qualify to come back to Houston and be one of the two. We're only having two champions a year, one male, one female. And it, it, so it's literally going to be like the most competitive, highest stake. God, I'm, I'm, I'm getting too excited, guys. I'm getting so excited. Highest stake, like division uh thing you can participate in in the world and what 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 do you what do you win what, what, why, why would i why would i care to go and do that guys this is a different world now right the, 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 with social media with with being putting yourself out there with like with it, it with it's we're we're doing i i'm detaching alphalete from being like the only like kind of sponsor, like, oh, you get an outfleet. If you win, you get an outfleet uh, sponsorship. Uh, what I want to do, and after every single show, we have a, an event the next day, a, a meetup, right? So we're collabing with Gymshark. We're going to literally pop up uh, on that Sunday. We're going to, they're going to open up the private gym for everybody to come. And there's gonna be like all these vendors just like meet us and like meet and greets, like whatever, like whatever we want to do, just like have fucking fun and like enjoy time with whoever wants to come out. Not only competitors, but whoever wants to come out and like, you know, say what's up while we're you know over there in the UK or in Toronto. Like th that's what the or in Tampa coming coming up here. We got some special guests coming too. So you guys gotta yeah. Um the show, sorry, show pop up and for the summer shredding winners, we're taking the concept of the transformation where you have to submit a video, right? You have to submit. We're gonna we have this list of questions uh, that we would we want you to answer. It's not gonna be judged off production value. It's gonna be judged off of, and like you, we are all you unanimous, kind of like American Idol style, gonna pick and vote with who out of the final final show. There's gonna be eight people standing, right? The overalls of each of those classes. Those people are gonna watch eight videos, transformation included, bodybuilding, figure. Those people are there. Out of those eight, those those eight are gonna be winning uh, ten thousand dollars in cash, uh, some sponsorship stuff with uh, brands that they want to choose. But the two winners are getting twenty five thousand dollars in cash apiece. They are getting not just the opportunity to for a long term endorsement deal with Alfley, but for main sponsors for the Summer Shredding Championship, right? We have Alfleet, we have Gymshark, we have Raw Nutrition, we have Ghost, we have, I'm, I'm about to call Michael, I'm, I want Dark Sport, I want fucking Dark Sport. I want, I want, like, I want Buff Bunnies, I can be a main sponsor, I want Anaka, I want all of the brands that are like, in the space, in the fitness scene, I want everybody to come, like literally, everybody to, become a part of it and if you win like you get to choose what you want you, you get to choose you, i want you to have options a brand deal a, a, a you know multi-year or forever deal with a supplement or a supplement company with that you, of your choosing that you like the best you feel out when you know once you get to do that for yourself you're not just tied to like one brand um you can decide for yourself same with the clothing summer shredding will give you twenty five thousand cash you're gonna get I'm buying these like fucking, we're making these custom rings, like the, 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 uh, Super Bowl rings. Iced out, like, I think they're gonna cost like 12 to 15K a pop. Um, but you're gonna get a ring. We're only giving two rings out a year. Uh, it's two people. And you're gonna get a documentary done by, like, Justin and I, uh, who we, we did the last video, the, um, contract with yourself. 
We have this sick idea that we're gonna do like this documentary, documentary, <laughs> this uh, video, and just like make it forever live on that, and you can to you, for you to utilize like however you wish. Um, and yeah, it's I, 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 I'm missing a ton of stuff. There's so many more things for prizing, and just like the networking, the the, the people you're gonna meet at those meetups, it's gonna be fucking ballistic, man. Um, so that's what we're doing. And uh, it starts now and you can go sign up because you've got a place in the top three or top two if your class is small. Sign up right fucking now. Commit yourself because, yeah, um, links can be in the description. Summershreddingevents.com. Uh, pricing is like the same as it's been and, and stuff. It's just like we want, I want this thing to, to have the, to reach like, I know it can. It's gonna, it's fucking gonna. And um, that's goal number three. This is gonna be a long ass video. Jesus Christ, I still gotta edit this. Since I'm, okay, I'm gonna speed this up a bit. That was the biggest one though. The SSC, Summer Shredding Community, the Summer Shredding Shows, you know, then uh, one Summer Shredding Championship per year, two winners from that. Yes. Cool. Next. Oh shit, I didn't take any more notes. <laughs> uh, next, we're gonna go with, it's goal number four. Um, I'm just gonna go in the order I know. Let me check my phone once. Yeah. What's up, girl? Okay. Way so far. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Girl. Oh. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. This is why I'm going to take so. Stay focused. I'm like, I, you, I think you can tell. It's like, I'm on a, I'm, this is like what I want to do. Like, fuck no, I'm so excited to come and start this up with you guys and just do this. Yeah, uh, I'm glad. I'm so fucking thankful. Thank you. 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 The games, games, not game, games, you know? Um, and yeah, I'm just, it's, it's nuts, man. It's nuts. So, I'm like sweating. It's like six, seven thirty one in the morning right now. We're like, it's humid outside. Um, don't even know what my fourth goal is, but, but I'm thankful. I'm excited. So, okay. Goal number four. Uh, Develop five new Alpha Elite gyms around the motherfucking world. All right, so now it's like there's a full on gym, you know? So, can't wait to see the final product. Develop five new Alpha Elite gyms around the world. I want to level up the culture of the Alpha Elite gym into new locations. The energy of this community deserves to grow internationally. Guys, we're here and uh, finished up the matting, sort of. So I'll show you what I mean. So we have every single set except for the five and tens. So I might buy the five and tens. So if you see here, since we're missing those, we have a gap right here, uh, four inch slots for the fives and for the, for the fives and tens. Uh, I might go ahead and put the five and tens on the floor and put one tens and one twenties. Uh, not sure yet, but the whole dumbbell rack, you see. So I feel like the place feels a lot bigger than it looks when it was empty. So and. Are you gonna do another Alpha Land, right? The, um, there will never be a second Alpha Land. I'll say that right now. It should cost too much. <laughs> no. uh, there will never be another Alpha Land. There's gonna be one Alpha Land location, which will be located here at the home, at the hub here in Missouri City, Texas. We're gonna build five gyms, five Alpha Elite gyms around the world. What makes an Alpha Elite gym? It's going to have Alpha Land char characteristics, meaning I pretty much picked out, but I'm open, right, to, to, to we're gonna look at all the demographics. We're gonna, you know, look at. I, I don't. I don't think I, I haven't done enough research yet on like on franchising and on, on like you know options. To just like you know, self do it. But uh, I think I'm. I'm just keep it all in, kind of in house in that um, sense. That's why I only want to do five. I don't want more than five. I don't want to have a hundred thousand gyms around the world because the shit's. You got to keep it tight, you know. And um, what's gonna make that? It's going to be. 
I want literally like the best of the best pieces after like experimenting with Alflam for another two, three years, like really refining like what the, that space means. It means you have a badass retail store with, with multiple brands. You have an Alpha Eats location. You have a, a an elevated like lounge space, lounge, you know, workspace for you to go and just post up, do your thing to, you know, network to um, whatever that is. And you're going to have two to three different types of facilities within that one facility. So each athlete gym will have in like a, a, a fresh brand new, you know, fresh paint, um, very, you know, a seed, very, very bougie uh, portion of the gym, which will be fully equipped, got everything you need. Okay. It will also have a part two, which will be no matter where we are, I don't care, I don't care if it's freezing cold or if it's blazing hot, we're going to have a, oh, like an open bait or where, like a, just a warehouse style part of the gym that will also be fully equipped. You're not gonna have to like go cable cross over here and then like not have another option to do it in the other part. Like you can do a full session or whatever in that one or in the warehouse style one. And uh, yeah, um, I mean, I'm like, we do. So I, 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 we're gonna continue expanding out. I've like, got so many plans over, over the next few years. I, I think that I wanna implement them, see how Everything is taken, like we got barbershops coming, we got the sauna, we got the daycare, we got the, all that shit's coming, man. The pool, we have the, the, the intramural like league that we're doing, the, what was it, him? But um, yeah, have so much space to build. I wanna see what everybody responds to best and then we're gonna go from there to, you know, take that into the other locations. Um, so that is that. If I can get all my ducks in a row, I wanna like literally get myself and my team to literally fly to from spot spend i don't know say we have different phases say we do five round trips of this entire like thing right? it'd be boom okay now we know exactly what we need to do we have the connections in each city this 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 we're staffing as we're going we're, we're you know meeting with contractors stuff while we're already there anthony or whoever's going to be helping develop these and overseeing those projects will be you know on more consistent but i want to go literally like phase one is going to be location phase two is going to be uh the build out right i want to see that i want to see that shit getting built right like in the midst of it and be able to make changes if needed of course like need some change orders for sure um and then round three is going to be all right we got paint, we got floorings already like kind of in. I don't really need to see that, right? But flooring's in, the paint's going up, no artwork's done or anything like that. Signs aren't up or anything. But then we, I want the equipment and signage to be like one big trip. The layouts, the, 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 the cosmetics of it. Um, and round four, honestly, will probably be, maybe round four could be the opening um, for each one. I don't know if I'm gonna be buying the land it, it, like or the buildings where I'm going to be doing this. I don't know if I'm going to buy a piece of land and build straight up. Maybe there's an option and there's something to do that in some of these spots. Um, but I know like in the UK, it's stuff to do. So um, yeah, we're just going to figure it out as we go. But I can tell you, they're going to be the best five gyms, like 100%. So yep. Um, goal number five, get Alfleet into expand Alfleet into select retail stores around the world. This will allow our supporters to experience Alfleet in person. Exclusive retail. Essentially, I want to, you'll never be able to get an Alfleet product online. The same exact thing, same colorway, same style. There's gonna be something different and unique if I, if, if when we do these partnerships. We've got some things lined up with some really big names, but I've been, I'm very, very, I'm being very, very like, because I, I I'm my biggest fear and I'm like overly aware of diluting the brand. I don't want you to be able to get this shit anywhere. I don't want to like, it, it needs to stay exclusive and with that said though these partnerships these these stores these these badass like, freaking, the hype stores we can we'll make a collection that's exclusive there you can only get it there right and we'll update we'll do two a year three a year whatever for, or four for the seasons whatever that's going to be and become or maybe we, we have you know our our seamless collection with blank blank and they have two color palettes that are fresh with these like really badass like textures and fades and stuff on them but they, you can only get those colors there Online, we're doing our own shit. 
that's that exclusive thing. Well, Canada, boom, we got something different there. We got something different there. And keeping it like that. I want to make Alphalete more accessible, but it needs to be in a very specific way because collaboration is, is the key. It's going to become the key to, to a lot, oh, man. And I'm, the, it's like crazy, like, who's the, but the opportunities have been lining up and everything, but it's just like, I ain't acting on shit right now. So like, hold up, I gotta get my media team first, <laughs> or else, <laughs> you know? But um, yeah, that's that one. Next goal, goal number six. Earn an IFBB Pro card. I know I can push myself past all my previous limitations to achieve something I've never thought possible. Get my an IFBB Pro card. Let me say for the people in the back. Okay. Win my Christian Usman an IFBB Pro card. Why do I want to do that? I'm going to be honest with y'all. And by the way, today's day one. I got my show. I'm 20 weeks out. I'm competing this year. Not just once. Maybe just once. But I'm planning on two. Okay. And by the way, last year I won... My class, I didn't win the overall, but I won my class, which means I didn't even know until literally, like, but I'm, I'm, go, I'm doing the, there's only seven uh, national, uh, national qualifiers, I think. Seven, yeah, I have to, there's seven shows that I could potentially do to get my pro card and have to, you know, win that. So uh, I'm giving myself like two shots a year until for 10 years. <laughs> it could take one, it could take nine, could, but it's gonna fucking happen. And yeah, um, 20 weeks out, got my Fitbit. I'm on my macros, but I'm saving that for the next video. I'm 208 right now, looking way different, stronger, everything I've ever been, fucking pumped. And now I have adequate time to diet. Last year I, went, did, I did 14, 14 and a half weeks and I did like, dropped like 36, 37 pounds. Way too quick, I am not the smartest. So this year, got a good plan, man. Team Reform working with Alex again. And, oh no. <laughs> yeah. Alex? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm getting my pro. And another thing, like, look, like more on a more serious note, like, anytime I've ever, I joke a lot. I'm, I'm not a super serious guy. Like, I, I, I joke, mess around a lot, but like, I've, I've, I've never registered my name, like, or thought about Christian's mind and IFB Pro going in the same sentence. Like, it, like I've always done like the competitions and stuff and like want I just wanted to like get shredded and, like and do the the journey and like document the process and stuff and I like look sick for photo and you know all that and um I enjoy it a lot but like I don't know I never I, I you know I I wasn't all that I was all skinny and you know 14 and a half inch calves and fucking like just not you know I don't have a good front pose I still can't pose for shit um but I'm I need to give myself some more credit, is what I'm fucking saying, right? And uh, like my mentality with training, with every, like I don't fucking go over, I don't, I'm, I'm, when I'm on, I am fucking on. But though I may like joke and like, you know, I'm coming, man. I'm fucking coming, so. Next goal, I wanna start a nonprofit. I wanna do it with animals, man. I wanna, I wanna, I feel like with the platform, Nala, Fuck up. I'm talking about saving your kind. Hey, Nala. Girl. Girl. Mufasa. <laughs> come here, come on. What are you doing? Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Oh, yeah. Oh, she's getting her treats. She gets treats. She even lets us pat her down. Here's one for you, guys. She's so fun. She gets treats over there, over here, and in the front with the guy that walks by. Really? Oh yeah, she knows her times too. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. How have you been? She's very vocal. Well, every, no. You know, she's great. You're such a good girl. Okay. <laughs> how have you guys been? Good. 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 Been good. traveling or been here? Henry is always so excited to see her. <laughs> As everybody is, it walks by. Everybody. Loves oh. her. Good girl. <laughs> have a good, have a good day. Now let's go. Come on, you want to go to the Alphalete? Come on, let's go, Jim. Come on. Yeah, let's go to the Alphalete. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Nah, just kidding. 
Um, but yeah, I want to start a I want to, like Al Fleet adoption, Al Fleet adoption agency, something to where we when we find stray like cats, dogs, um, when we find animals and they or they they don't have homes and need homes. Like imagine what we could do with having it close to Southland, you know, ha and and being able to utilize like social media, being able to utilize the the influencers, like the 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 this entire new wave of everything that's like coming, right? Like to help to like online be able to showcase like you always you, I don't know I think we're on, I think we can really um, make a quick turn around like like low time frame of that the animal being you know not having a having a place but i think we can get them home fairly quick if we you know market it right and we and we are strategic with it and um yeah i fucking love animals i've saved i think i've like i feel like i'm like the dog whisperer there's been remember cash remember oliver remember murphy remember like hobbs there's been so many like instances uh and i don't know I just animals are the most pure for the soul uh, and yeah it just kills me to, yeah so yeah that that's what I, I I'm 98% sure what I want to do with the nonprofit but um, yeah we'll see okay next goal is going to be um, design and build design and build a forever home from the ground up a forever home design and build the forever home right that's not gonna be like let me go look for some houses that's gonna be ID like I want to find land I want acres and I've got if if I'm not if I'm not gonna build from the like I, I need to find a property a, a, a land where I can build from the ground up because I don't want to tear anything all the way down and then kind of redo but this is also gonna be the forever final one where I'm gonna raise a family this is gonna be where like where it's gonna be the forever one okay so it's gonna be looking sick we're gonna go do that take you along for i want to i want to make it i want to make the sickest house ever see me one story okay on good piece of land quiet private okay not too too far from work it's gonna have I just, oh my god imagine the gym imagine the gym imagine the basketball the, the indoor basketball court imagine the pool imagine the 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 just like in the house having like the center's gonna be the kitchen, all just like last looking out to the infinity pool. Then you have like the uh, the, the 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 outhouse, because like we have this room here, which is like the most handy room ever, because it's like it's connected to the house, but you have like your own shit, right? You're not like in all the commotion <laughs> up there. And so imagine like a full on guest house with like a ga game room, two bedroom, like two bathroom, like fucking sick over there, right? Just like a uh, for whatever's you know who's, who's a guest or anything, and it will be. Yeah, it's gonna be so cool, man. Um, so, really cool ideas. I've actually, I've, I got like all these drawings and things already like kind of in the works and uh, been low-key already. My reels, are, my, I'm like, Logan, I, I ain't gonna open the that link again till maybe end of March, 2023. But that one, I wanna start looking soon. Um, it's gonna probably take, I would say two, two and a half years to go, maybe even three to go from, let's look at land to we're moving in. So uh, yeah, that was that. Um, next one is going to be almost done. Start a new business. Start a business in a new industry. I'm going to launch an entirely new company that will generate at least $100 million in revenue in a single calendar year. We'll generate a hundred plus million dollars in revenue, total revenue in one calendar year. Not saying in the first year of business it's going to hit or you know do a hundred million, but I want to whether. I launched that brand next year, or and it's not going to be a daily. It'll be something different in a new industry, something fresh, something challenging, something that I don't, I haven't done yet, because I like challenges and shit, right? So, and I and I will be open to doing to partner, having a partner on that because time is too thin now. Um, I don't have partners on really anything anymore. Um, but yeah, so, and I've already, you guys know, I've already got some shit working on for that one, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. So. Um, whether it takes first year of business, second year, third year, fourth year, whether so at some point within the next 10 years, that company that we don't know what it is yet, will do $100 million plus in revenue. Okay, so that's challenging, which took me, it took me what, eight years, uh, seven and a half, a little over seven and a half years to do, to break 100 with Alfleet. And, and that's a lot of work, so, um, you know, but yeah, we're gonna do it.
And that's just like, I wanted a, bu a business one in there that, cause like, obviously like I'm, we're gonna make out like fucking sit, we're gonna make out plan, like continue just like, but I wanted like a, a, a fresh something, a fresh challenge and something new like, so that, that's gonna be that one. Uh, and then last one, goal number 10. The final goal is one that sounds the most simple, but will be the hardest. Be present. Remember that you're human and that is enough. Be fucking present. And I, I think you guys can tell probably from my energy that like, I'm just, I know I'm like, go, 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 but I'm not like, you know, I'd be at the office on doing my, just like be working, man. And like, it's, it's good work, it's good. but it's like, I'm just so, I'm doing what I fucking love. And I know I'm like, by committing myself right now, like, I know I'm putting myself to people around me, like, Everyone's in for a fucking good journey of entertainment at least or something, you know? Like you gotta fucking just fall on my face and you can't do it. I don't know, but I'm just excited to try and do my best. Um I I I with Alphaland, like I with COVID and all that, I I hit my wall. I hit a wall and I don't just fucking tripod sucks dick, bro. Sorry. Um uh, I just suck at setting it up. It's not a, it's not a stupid tripod. Um but I hit, I was at, I hit, it was rough. <laughs> it was very by myself. It was, um, it was, I don't ever, I will not put my body through what I did to, to do that. Um, so, and how, and therefore I need to cut my time to get to the weeds, cut the, the, the time for the BS. I need to build my fucking team, which I've been the last few months I have been, that's been like the biggest, we've restructured everything, everything. And we've trimmed down. We've also put people that you guys like don't even know on the channel or anything like that. It's crazy. But like, you know, people that have started fairly recently with the, within the company that are that have moved up into positions that like we finally have like finally have man, we finally have like true managers. We have we have leads, we have managers, and there's so many businesses, but like the Alphalet the clothing at that like that was always the hardest hard that's been that is the hardest one. Um, but like Alpha Land, that's just a people one. Distribution, like fulfillment, we had 120 employees. It's just like, it, it, the restructure has been a lot the last few months. But I've known that by putting that in, I'm still going through it. I still don't have shit help. I don't have anything right now for myself yet, for the media stuff, for like my Alpha is getting there. Like it's like a getting to become a machine a little bit, other than the production and stuff. That's still very me. Um, but it's in the right direction now for the first time ever like confidently i can say that and uh which means i can get it we're gonna get it together man um and i'm gonna hit all these goals while doing it and i'm gonna enjoy the moments and i'm gonna stop like if i need to stop i'm gonna fucking stop for a bit i'm gonna slow down i'm gonna take the i'm not gonna i'm not gonna kill myself maybe for that for <laughs> so shredded like god i'm so shredded I'm like oxygen mask will get on the okay <laughs> why do I have to why do I have to do that anyway thank you guys so much for watching I also want like there's personal like personal goals as well like like obviously obviously there's you know other things in my and I'm so and I'm, I'm ready to you know talk about those things I'm super excited and um, but these are the 10 goals that the, the 29 year old CG wants and wants to fucking kill and do. So I'm gonna do them and enjoy it along the way. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys, you have like a better grasp of everything now. It's a 51 minute clip. Uh, we'll see what it trims down to, but appreciate you guys so much more than you know. And just thank you, seriously. I'm gonna go edit this and shower, but subscribe and we'll see you in the next one, man. Don't know when that's going to be, but it could be soon. Could be, maybe it's not though. I don't know. Peace. I think I'm funny. Hairy, hairy feet. Hairy feet. Hairy feet. Hairy feet. Hairy feet. Bye. <laughs>